Sentimental hogwash. Send for our mysterious Kiss Salicious Love Potion and find love, love, love. Kiss Salicious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Hello? I'd like to order a bottle of passion. I, I, potion. Potion. Oh, I'm getting tingly just thinking about it. Woohoo! It's here! No. Kissalicious love potion? This is some powerful stuff. Morning, Miss Meanie. What are you doing on my mailbox, then? Who's the cutest little cuddly waddly tusk puppy around? <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't move a muscle, Cupcake. I'm off to prepare our love nest. <laughs> kiss a licious, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Oh, yeah, kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Woodpecker. <laughs> She's going gaga. Cuckoo, buggy for me. You must help me. She's your landlady. Let's see. I must help Wally. I must help Wally not. Help Wally. Help Wally not. Oops, sorry, Wally. Please, I give you anything. Just find a way to get her not to like me. Anything? Say, uh, free eats for a month, Wally? Are uh, you Gaga Cuckoo Buggy? You bankrupt me! Yo ho! Oh, Wally! Which sounds the most romantic? Ms. Meanie Walrus? Mrs. Wally Walrus? Or my fave, Mr. Wally Meanie? <laughs> okay, okay, free meals for a month, Woodpecker! <laughs> ah, she's just gonna think I'm booing her, Woodpecker! Do exactly as I say, and Meanie's love meter will go kaput in record time. How do I look, my cheesy enchilada? <laughs> nope! She's going to smooch me to death. Relax. Just say what I tell you. Whoa! Okay, now turn around and say, your dress reminds me of... Uh, the, uh, your dress reminds me of... A bad excuse for a circus tent. A bad excuse for a circus tent. Oh, Wally, you're so right about this dress. In it, I'm filled with laughter, fun, and frolic, just like a circus tent. My little love clown. <laughs> Come here. This is not working, Woodpecker. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Swedish boy. You're as cuddly as a meatball, and my heart is filled with joy. She's a hard day's work, but I'm about to put in some overtime. Give it to her. Uh, e I got you this, Ms. Meanie. Oh, Wally, a gift for moi. Now to collect my payoff. Meatballs, here I come. Oh, I've always wanted a red herring coat. I bet everybody's doing dead fish in Paris this year. I simply love it. Yoinky doinky. Uh... Not so fast, biscuit beak. <laughs> She's more in love with me than ever. What does that tell you? Uh, there's no accounting for taste? No! It means your plan isn't working. Ah, uh, don't get your shorts in a bunch, Wally. Drastic women call for drastic measures. Walrus, you want a boogie? Oh, <laughs> 
Your music unchained, Wally. Kiss a licious kiss a lot. Do you love me? Do you not? Wait, a love potion. Now they can both go gaga for each other. Hi, Wally. Drink this. What's happening? Good for four hours only. Uh oh, Mimi's must be wearing off. Huh? Ooh, my little fjord dancer, come to Volley. Help! What am I doing here? And what's that smell? Ick! That's me! What the? Help me! Help me! Oh, my spicy meatball! Help! You got to do something! Oh, uh, I'll be glad to find a way to take them off your hands, Ms. Meany. Uh, what's it worth to you? Free rent for a month? Six months. A year? Oh, How about installing a hot tub in my treehouse? Uh, a basketball hoop on my tree. What do you say? What do you say? Anything, Woodpecker! Anything! <laughs> 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 Welcome to SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com. Are you looking for that special snuggle bun to cuddle up to and keep you warm on cold Arctic nights? Then let me and my love computer find the perfect match for you. We have hundreds of eligible eager members. And my 100% patented compatibility program uh, inside this here love computer is the only surefire way to find the perfect someone for you. <laughs> this is what we in the computer business call a systems crash. Now you listen here, you little high-tech glitch. I feel a love bump coming for sure. I get your point. But I am the professional matchmaker and computer programmer hereabouts. Me and my love computer will determine who is right for you, little fella. Once you pay your $500 membership fee. Hmm, I guess it's true what they say. Love waits for no man. Now, now, little fella. She may not be your perfect match, and you can't let your heart go getting involved in, well, matters of the heart. A cyber hi to you, Chilly Lily. Trust me. My love computer is working night and day to select the perfect match for you. But don't you worry your little heart, miss. Smedley the love doctor will not rest until he has found your soulmate. This is Smedley's Lonely Hearts Club .com. Logging off. And now it's time for you to take Smedley's patented compatibility test. Yup, me and my love computer had no trouble selecting the ideal match for you, little feller. According to my profile, she is warm to cuddle with, has a big heart, and a hearty appetite. Who is it? It's the mechanic of love from SmedleysLonelyHeartsClub.com, ma'am. Here with a dream date that is sure to create fireworks of plenty. Meet a more. If you love something, let it go. 
And if it comes back and blows up in your face, it's a penguin, all right. Yay! As president of this here cyber match establishment, I will not rest until the perfect match has been matched. Me and my love computer have selected a new date for you, Penguin. She loves deep sea diving, haute couture fashions, and is not afraid to express her deep ocean emotions. La, 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 la. Oh, come here, you adorable penguin, you. Come to Mama. <laughs> Yup, nothing like a satisfied love connection. Hey, what are you? Oh, come back, my little love muffin. You and your lousy dating service. Love is like a rose, mostly thorny and full of owls. And that was definitely an owl. That does it. I've had enough of these two incompatibles trying to thwart me and my all-knowing love computer. For your own good, I'm going to deprogram your internal love computer. There are hundreds of applicants you can choose from, and my compatibility computer says she is not the one for you. Your resistance is wearing down. Select the perfect date and Smedley the love mechanic will hook you up. Monitor one, seven, twenty-two, nine, four, Hold on one puppy-loving minute. Huh? Ah, you get, you little heartbreaker, you! Come back here, you penguin-sized Romeo and Juliet! Now there's the kind of man who can comb the hair on my back any day. The love doctor's in, and I want the first appointment. Well, I guess it's true what my mama always said after all. Don't even try to fight love, cause then it'll beat you every time. Special delivery for Miss Meanie. I'll be a turnip. An invitation to my high school reunion. Oh, I wonder if Biff Buff will be there. I'll show that no good so and so. I've done just fine after our breakup. But I gotta go with a date who'll make him jealous with a capital J. <laughs> According to your lease, Section 73, Article 12, said woodpecker must accompany me, said landlady, to any and all social outings as my date. If I so request or else, said woodpecker, you will be evicted. <laughs> you don't said. But don't get any romantic notions, cuddle buns. This is strictly a platonic business deal. Got it? Our target is my old flame, Biff Buff. When he sees how much fun I still am on a date, after all these years, he'll eat his jock heart out for dumping me back in high school. 
Now look, Debonair Woodpecker, you and me are gonna be the dream date of this reunion. Nightmare date's more like it. It's Meanie and Date. That's spelled D-A-T-E. Ha! Well, what do you know? Maybe this party won't be such a drag after all. <laughs> Mimi, you okay? I'll go to the gym and get you something to drink. Be back soon. Hold on, Woodpecker. You're here to make Biff jealous, so you don't go anywhere without me by your side. Got it? Uh, right. So, how about we go to the gym together for some fun? You know, to make Biff jealous? You like games? Well, Let's go play Guess My Old Walker Combination. Well, go, go ahead, Woodpecker. Try again, try again. No one ever guesses on the first 300 tries. Oh, wait till Biff sees me here. Oh. Why, you little dickens. Didn't I tell you this was fun? Oh, I can hardly stand it. It's jammed, Meanie. I'll have to go get help. Don't you dare! Leave me alone! I was president of the judo club. Don't you know? Woodpecker, don't poop out on my party. It's him! It's Biff! Biff always wore a checkered sports coat. What brat. That boy always could get away from me. Well, let's find him so I can ask him his secret. <gasps> hey, Meanie, let's page Mr. Wright. Biff Buck to the art room. Biff Buck to the art room. Now! Oh, good thinking, Woodpecker. Keep it up and I may even give you a rent reduction. This Woodpecker's date night is just about over. <laughs> Huh? Oh, Miss Meanie, what a horrible accident. I'll get someone down in the gym uh, to help. Don't move a muscle till I return. Fun and games, here I come. trying to be the centerpiece of attention, huh, Meanie? <laughs> She's the centerpiece, and so is her little friend. <laughs> I say, chaps, laugh if you must, but Meanie here is the centerpiece of my very existence. <sighs> My castle would not be such without Milady there to watch over it and see that all things run as they must. Wait, you two live in a castle? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Woodpecker! Me, Castle A. Sue Castle! I am Lord Crinkle. Perhaps you've heard of me? And I will not stand to have the likes of you be smirching my meanie's character with your cheap laughter. Choose your weapon. Huh, we didn't know, Lord Crinkle. We shall duel to the finish for my fair meanie's honor. Oh. Uh, we were just kidding you, Lordship. <laughs> He bought it hook, line, and woodpecker, Woody! Can we go have some fun now, Miss Meanie? You bet! 
We're gonna go to the Industrial Film Festival together. The Ice Cube exhibit on Sunday. Oh, I know this great little dim sum bingo parlor. Oh, I tell you, the fun is just <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Inga Smorgasbord bit my din din. I'm coming, Inga. Special pizza delivery for Dr. Wallenstein. Mm. Won't you stay and have a morsel with me, Inga? Thanks, but no thanks, Doc. I go for the short, red haired type. About this tall, don't you know? Well, what do you know? A perfect fit. Oh, my! Hello, I'm a Inga. <laughs> yes, who? Oh, Voody. I'm off at 11. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> I never get the girl. <laughs> they all think I'm just boring. <laughs> eh, quit your blubbering. <laughs> yep, I guess some of us got it and some of us don't. Then maybe you could show me how to be more cool, yeah, cool for the packer. Sure, if you'll put me up. I'm not going anywhere till 11. <laughs> you rang. Show Woody to the guest room. But be careful with his head. Follow me, buddy. <laughs> I'm not her type, eh? We see about that. When Inga comes back, she gets the woodpecker's body, yeah? But with me inside. Towel. Must find the towel. In your body will make me irresistible. I am a cool woodpecker, yes, I am. <laughs> Now I get that Inga girl for sure. Hey, Meatball! You talking to me, Woodpecker? You're a disgrace! Look at you, pompadour falling, feathers ruffled, waddling like a chicken. <laughs> Inga will never go for you. Now let me out of here so I can help you. <gasps> no way, Woodpecker. Ha! Forget it. Now we'll see who gets the girl. You bet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about doing that cute little laugh of yours? <clears throat> never mind, never mind, stop! Pack me something out of food, Dan, okay? Yeah. Uh, pack? Oh, yeah, uh, I am Woodpecker. Watch this. Oh, he's gonna ruin the reputation of woodpeckers everywhere. Don't 
go away. I'll be right back. Hey, ho, what do you know? I'm from the Bad Date Intervention Bureau. I've seen some bad dates before, bub, but yours is off the chart. Yeah, it's not going so good. What I do? You need a hat. Now go get her, partner. Yeehaw! I'm a cowpoke, y'all. Look at me, Inga. Oh, I love a cowboy hat. <laughs> I never did look good in chartreuse. But I'll bet this will confuse the doc just long enough so that I can change into something more comfortable. Namely, me. By Imini, Inga likes me the way I was. Better than this dumb bird suit. You bet. <laughs> I'm me. Good as new. My foodie's back. <laughs> That's my girl. Doof. Come on, we got a feast waiting with our hands. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Bye, Yemeni, I get you, Woodpecker. Bye, bye, buddy. <laughs> oh, you've mastered the Bones and Crones beginner's game, have you? Then you better upgrade to the Bones and Crones Mega Monster Deluxe Game version or your life will be a living nightmare. <laughs> Must have blown a fuse or something. Or something. Hey, Miss Minnie still has her lights on. Uh, let's go down there. Uh, Splinter, that old witch really is a witch. Just goes to show you never really know who your neighbors are. Ugh, I bet she blew out our lights with some kind of spell. Yeah, in fact, she could be casting a spell over us right now. Uh, uh, what does the Bones and Crones game book say about witches? It says you gotta capture a witch to break her evil spells. Come on! <laughs> as soon as she opens the door, we run. Uh, that's my favorite part. What are you little yard monsters up to? <laughs> if I wanted a hammock in my tree, I'd get one myself. And what's that? Littering my yard, are you? No, uh, we were playing a game. And, and there was a big gust of wind. Uh, the book flew out the window. And we had to come get it back. You like games, do ya? Well, I happen to know lots of games! <laughs> Quit your catawalling! We're gonna play Guess What's For Dinner! See if you can figure out what the main ingredient is! <laughs> I've been wanting to have you two for dinner for a long time! So! Did you guess what the main ingredient is, huh? Did you? She's gonna eat us. No, she's gonna cook us, then eat us. Don't you even think about leaving. It's all stormy outside. Uh, well, uh, we were, uh, uh, uh just gonna uh, wash up for dinner. Good idea. I like a nice, clean dinner. Bathroom Saturn. <laughs> Hmm. Jumpy little tykes. We gotta get out of here! <laughs> Not if we don't stop her now, she'll just get us later! Uh, uh, grab the hose out there! Could you not 
mention barbecues. I'm gonna keep it occupied. Whoa! There you are. Where's your brother? It's not dinner without him. Uh, 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 he's, um, um, just washing up. Good. Cleanliness is next to tastiness. I always say... to put this thing together and it's just too darn scary for them to play. Now who am I gonna get to help eat my vegetable stew? <laughs> we almost didn't make it. We gotta tell someone. Wally! You're the last ingredient I need for my woodpecker stew. Uh, he's got Uncle Woody. We gotta stop him. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. You drop them, mister! We've had all the weirdness we're gonna take around here! Hey, kids, what's up? Uncle Woody? But we thought Wally was making woodpecker stew! One bowl of stew for the woodpecker. So, do you think it's good enough to win the neighborhood stew cook-off tomorrow, woodpecker? Yours is definitely up there, Wally. Come on, kids, let's go taste Meanie's stew. Oh, no! Oh, we're not going over there, Uncle Woody. Have it your way. That just means more stew for me. You know what I think, Splinter? That if we keep being such scaredy cats, we'll miss out on one of oh. Uncle Woody's best ideas yet. Freaky Freaks, my mother's a freak, your mother's a freak, Freaky Ruziki, Freak Freak and Freak Again, plus the all-time horror movie classic. What the heck are you thinking? Turn on a light, stupid. Meanie, great announce. You got zip, sparkle, flare. And the constitution of a contortionist in a sardine can, sir. <laughs> You know, I think it's time you worked in the theater. I'm giving you a chance for a big promotion. Oh, oh well, well, thank you, sir. <laughs> I've been brushing up on my management training guide. <laughs> I won't let you down. Ruling. Attack of the Zombie Woodworms is about to end in Theater 13. Clean it out before the next show. And watch out for theater hoppers. Oh, if I catch one. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie woodworms. It's just a movie. <gasps> Darn kids leaving all the seats, catty walkers. <clears throat> Zombie worms! <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> 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 
freeloader trying to hide in his seat for a second showing of killer zombie woodworms, huh? <laughs> than you have tried that one, crying boy. I didn't become a manager in training five minutes ago, you know, Buster. No, no, listen, I'll pay to see another movie. Just don't make me go out in the dark. Your money's no good here, woodpecker. You're a theater hopping, movie grubbing lowlife, and when my boss finds I've kicked your sorry tail feathers out, he'll promote me for sure. Huh? <laughs> in your hindquarters, woodpecker! Meanie, what are you doing? Going woodpecker wrangling, sir. Step aside. Just need to find a nice, peaceful place to hide. The happy cults of Rocking Horse Island. This should be perfect to settle my nerves. Ah, <sighs> sweet sweetness everywhere. Cole, get off that screen! Oh, I'll stop that no good theater offer! Sit tight and out of harm's way, could get me over my fears. <laughs> what happened to you, bub? Vina! Yep. Know just what you mean. She's been after me all night. Here I am, sir. The little theater hopper got away, but I'll find him. You'll never get a promotion in my theater, meanie. Not only did you tie me up, you've broken nearly every rule of customer relations. You've... You've... She scared the daylights out of me. Frightening customers! She wouldn't take my money. Refusing service! And, and most of all, you've... She was disruptive when others were trying to watch the movie. <laughs> Disrupting the movie going experience! She did all that? Oh, please, don't report these incidents to the theater chain, Mr. Woodpecker. It could mean my job. Well... If there's anything I can do for you. Anything? And today's feature, Citizen Woodpecker, Jurassic Woodpecker, Woodpecker and the Tramp. You know, Meanie, you got the best movies in town at your theater. I wonder who picked them. <laughs> I'll just use my lifetime free movie pass for a ticket to every flick. I'll be 
watching out for you, Woodpecker. Mark my words, I won't be in this booth forever. <laughs> Don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs>
Hey, no fair! That's cheating! Are you Come on, Billy! Yeah. Woodpecker, we have the final event, the Herring Pool. Whoever gets that flag on the other side of the lake wins. And they're gonna be pulled by Johan and Gustav, the Herring Brothers. The Herring Brothers! Mm, go! Tilly, I'll go high. You go low. Oh, I'm so happy you got me I'll get it, you crazy woodpecker! Now do I win, Wally? No, there's still one more event. It's the... Uh... I give up. You win, Woodpecker. Hooray! Hooray! You're the one who right. Oh, yeah. Now, this is my kind of camping. Yoinky doinky. <laughs> Another emotional episode of As the Bread Rises. <laughs> These are government issued solar panels, Sergeant Hogwash. They can power the entire base. Is that understood? Sir, understood, sir! Hook them up double time. Then give one panel to every civilian in the nearby area. At ease. <sighs> Officers. Eh, I don't see any civilians in the area. So, I guess these extra panels are mine. <laughs> Perfect for heating up my new hot tub and sauna. Huh? Short stuff. Major didn't say nothing about no penguins getting solar panels. Slide part A and the holes in part B. Well, that's easy as up two, three, four. Now attach part B to part C. Say, short stuff. Unauthorized removal of military equipment is against Arctic Corps regulation. Snaky little prayer. Find out, flank me, huh? Take that! Not so fast, little buddy. One solar panel pilfering penguin discharged from this man's army. Time to light this candle. Funny. The engine's burned away, but I didn't push the start button. Yet. That overdressed bird will not go AWOL with my solar power. Detail is over. Nice.
Santa? Very classy, and I know classy when I see it. Work is done. Time for fun. Now I'm in, watch me swim. That's a fin. Hmm, this looks familiar. Must be a copy of one of them famous museum pieces. Venus to miles to go, that's it. Everything the enlisted man needs to have a good time in the tub. <sighs> huh? Who's messing with my duck? Hmm. Could have sworn that statue was over there before. Get back here, you! We are now in launch mode. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Brings back memories of the time when I was a military high dive campaign. Used to use softer water. This calls for a frontal assault. Charge! Poor battlefield tactics, soldier. No retreat plan. Whoa! Tough being ground zero, ain't it? I was military bowling champion, too. Enemy off the starboard bow! Sneak attack! Battle stations! Every man for himself! Huh? Whoa! Sub at six o'clock! Gonna open this sardine can and extract one pesky penguin! <laughs> Get me out of here, you little tuxedo terrorist! Victory through air power! of impersonating a naval submarine commander. You may think you're winning this battle, soldier, but I'm gonna win this war! Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> The coupe de grasse. My son. <sighs> Soldier. I, I can explain, sir. Saunas and hot tubs are not regulation, soldier. No, sir. Neither is your size. Not regulation, sir. I want this hot tub and this sauna off my base. Do you read me loud and clear? Sir, yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. Way down here, sir. I'm busting you down to private. Understand, Pipsqueak? Sir, Pipsqueak, understand, sir. Hmm. Well, what do you know? A new pool hall in the neighborhood. I haven't played in ages. Oh, Twiggy, quick. Get busy. We got us a new customer to con. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, chum. Take a free shot, why don't you? It's on the house. Ooh, I think that's gonna be a great shot. Huh? Wow! I'm better than I remember. Say, you aren't by any chance here for the big contest today, I is. What contest? Well, whomsoever beats the champion, uh, uh, 
and it be me, wins a free lifetime pass to Buzz Buzzard's Pool Emporium. Free is my favorite thing. What's the catch? No catch, sport. That's just a simple one-time entry fee of uh, 25... Sixty, seventy-five, uh, nine. Yeah, $79, and you're good to go. Hey, that's all the dough I got. But the good news is, if you, I mean, when you win, you get the entry fee back with your lifetime of free pool. The game is, first one to knock in a hundred balls wins. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Oh, my turn. Look! Haley's Comet! That's a disco ball. What? I sunk them all! Your turn again. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? Seeing things. Hey, hey, what's going on here? Huh? Fooey, I missed that. So it's your shot again. Oh, it's the last time I ever get involved with it. <laughs> Pitcher, and this whole joint is rigged for cheating. Give me my money back. That's a, the security staff. <laughs> and I don't cheat, Woodpecker, besides in which I told you. You gotta win to get your dough back. Oh, here, yeah, boss, your favorite cue stick. I cleaned it and washed it and tuned it up a lot. Bye. The more difficult the shots, the better I like it. To prove I ain't cheating, I'm gonna call my shots before I shoot. All the balls. In the corner pocket, banking him off the lamp. Huh? Well, another whole bunch of points for me. <laughs> I gotta fix this cheater's wagon. And I know just how to do it. Wow! Oops, sorry. Off the jukebox, over the mouse, out the door, and into the mailbox. <laughs> that was so not regulation, boss. And more to the point, that woodpecker stole my cue stick. <laughs> Off the cab, to the stop sign, off the manhole cover, and into the flower pot. Gosh, boss, you couldn't make that shot even with your trick cue stick. Then go make me make it, Tweaky. down the hallway and up two flights of stairs? Yeah! Into the sink! I gotta get a new job. Oh, this game's going 
got my name written all over it, Woodpecker! And so does this jail cell. Jail? <laughs> Officer, this guy runs a crooked pool hall. Thanks, we've been trying to catch this buzz buzzard red-handed for a long time. You got a nice well, reward yeah, coming. I tell you, that woodpecker tricked me. He stole my pool cue. How's a guy supposed to win a game without a pool cue, I ask you? Is that an inequity or not? Pool I think I'll go celebrate and play some more golf, highlight, Chinese checkers, anything but pool. <laughs> <laughs>